Hi, this is Umair back with another Java tutorial with the Android Studio. And in this video, I'm going to talk about working with Git and GitHub in Android Studio. What is Git? Git is an online version control system that let us develop and share our products. It is one of the most famous uh, version control system that is being used by world's top companies. So it has an online website called GitHub that can be used to uh, track down the changes that we make in our files uh, or other people on the same project make changes in their files all right so for using git in github uh, in android studio we first need to go to the github.com website and if you are new to git you need to create a new account inside the github and make a free account for now and later on if you want to make it private you can do it as well I have already signed up with my github account alright so now um, we need to install git in our system if you have installed Android Studio in your system the latest version of Android Studio always come with git installed if you install Android Studio git will be automatically installed in your system in order to check if the git is installed or not uh, let's go to your system C program files and you will find the git it means that git is installed in our system now let's go uh, to file and settings and inside the version control click on git all right right here we need to give the path of in program files git uh, slash cmd slash git dot exe and we need to click on test button to check if our git is being configured with android studio successfully or not so it is showing me a success message that your git have been successfully integrated with this android studio all right so far so good and now we need to connect this uh, android studio this git with our online github account and to do that uh, we can just click on github all right and i will set the host to github.com and i will give my email id and i will give my password okay so so i have given my password and the email id so now i will click on test and it's going to connect uh, this android studio with my github account so it's saying that uh, connection have been configured successful so my android studio now is being connected with my github account all right so far so good and after that i'm going to click on apply okay so set up a master password um, specify a new password for a password database leave blank to uh, disable the master password protections right now we don't need this master password protection so click ok and click ok so our uh, android studio is being configured with online github account uh, right now i am i have nothing inside this project except few files main activity these are the default files activity main that i have written few code in these files now in order to uh, upload and share our files on the github uh, we can just open up any particular project that we want to uh, up on the github and click on vcs and inside the vcs i'll click on import into version control and then after that i'll click on share project on github all right and it's asking me to enter the name of repository that i want to create on github so i will name it android test prac all right and i'll give the description for this uh, repository so first app in android studio with github all right so i've given the description and i have uh, given the name of that repository okay so now i'll click on share and it has opened up all the files that are not being stored in my github account 
all right so if we are uh, just pushing the whole project at first time on the github then we need to check all these files and if we don't want any of these files to not to put on the github we can also uncheck uh, that particular file and inside it I need to give some message for initial committing my code so that has to be meaningful because if we are working on a large project we need to commit uh, every change that we make in our code uh, once or twice in a day so th when there is a lot of commits uh, then these commit message will help us to find out the previous code that were being changed earlier okay so I'm going to give it first commit of this project okay so I'll click OK so it's just pushing to github master account it's creating that repository on my github okay the name of repository I set was Android test prac okay it's showing me a message successfully shared project on github now let's go to my uh, github website all right and I'm going to reload this page so you can see that Android test prac repository have been created in my github account so let's open it up you can see that all the files have been pushed to my github account all right so right now I have pushed all the files on the github account now if I click on the VCS this is the icon all right it means that commit changes and this is the icon it means that update project if I click on it it's going to open up the um, open up the window and it's going to give me uh, those files that are not being committed but have been changed after that so I'm going to click commit okay I'm going to click give it some message second commit okay so let's commit it so this file have been committed as well showing me the message that one file committed uh, and the name of message is uh, second commit now if I click on it again so it's showing me a message that no changes detected alright so whenever we want to check any change to occur um, in any of these files uh, then we can just click on it now let's go to the main activity and I'm going to uh, make some changes let's press enter so this is also a change that our git consider now let's click on it and you can see that it has detected any change in the main activity and it is giving me that this file needed to be committed because it has been changed and this file is not same as the file that has already been pushed on the github account all right so i let me uh, hover my cursor on it and uh, now it's saying me that commit and commit and push commit uh, will commit the changes and all the files in my local repository but it will not be shown up on the online github repository in order to uh, show up all the changes with the github account online on the website I need to commit and push and I can also commit once and then after that I can push it or I can commit and push one time okay so let's change the message to third commit and I'm going to commit this up okay then I'll go to the VCS then I will go to git and then I can click on push okay so click on third commit and the second commit it's showing me all those commits that have been committed but these are not being pushed alright so I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to click on push so it's trying to push these two files on to my github account on the same repository that I just created in front of you so I have shown you how to commit project how to push project there are a bunch of other options if we want to pull or we want to create some branches 
this is not the tutorial on git or github i hope that you already know git uh, or um, github if you don't know that i have already created a tutorial uh, an essential training on git and github uh, so i have given the link of that this uh, that video in the description below check that out if you want to learn how to work with git and github so i hope that you have liked this video make sure you smash the like button and share it with your fellows comment below if you have any question thanks for watching